Hello, my beloved learners. I am Dr. Gloria Feeling with another session on the American English Language and Culture. Today is June 5th, 2022. For our cultural focus, we will compare the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution. I've selected this short lesson because my students faced a little difficulty when trying to answer questions on the civics test about the Constitution and about the Declaration. Some of the dates and facts started to get mixed up. And if my students had trouble with it, my viewers might also have a little trouble with it. So I've decided to share with you what I have shared with them. And this is a way of comparing the Declaration to the Constitution. I sincerely hope this helps you as you memorize information about our great country, the United States of America. So the Declaration was written July 4th, 1776. There is a civics question that asks when the Declaration was written. The answer is July 4th, 1776. Compare that with the Constitution. It was written by our founding fathers in 1787. 1776, 1787. There's also a question about the purpose of the documents. What does the Declaration do is a question. It said the United States was free from Great Britain. That is the answer, one of the standard answers to the question. Then there's a question about what the Constitution does. The answer is it sets up the government. One said the U.S. was free. The other one said the U.S. sets up the government. Then there's a question about the writing of the documents. There's a question about who wrote the Declaration of Independence. That's Thomas Jefferson. Then there's a question about what happened at the Constitutional Convention. That's where the Constitution was written. So there are two questions about writing. Two separate documents. The Declaration was written by Thomas Jefferson. At the Constitutional Convention, the Constitution was written by our Founding Fathers. There's also a question about rights. One question asks about two rights in the Declaration. That would be life and liberty. There's also a question about the First Amendment and the Bill of Rights. And you're asked about one right from the First Amendment. Freedom of speech is one. Freedom of religion is one. So if you are studying for your civics test, or you are just learning more about the United States, this should help you not to confuse the Declaration with the Constitution. Now, hopefully, they will both be separated in your mind with this little map I've given you, this little mind map I've given you, that gives a column of information on the Declaration and a column, column of information on the Constitution. I always encourage my students to look at my references and I will post this link in the description box. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have a friend who's studying English or studying for their citizenship exam, I hope you will share this video with them so that they can understand how to differentiate or not get confused when studying the Declaration and the Constitution. Have a great night, everybody.